Racer Radio on AM 1170. The answer is sponsored by Love Radio Network. This is Racer Radio on AM 1170. The answer. If it's a car, motorcycle, boat, or anything else with an engine in San Diego, it's on Racer Radio. Now, here's your host, Dave Stahl. All right, folks. Welcome. You are listening to Racer Radio, brought to you by San Diego Carburetor and Fuel Injection. 6622 University Avenue in San Diego. Go to 619-265-2400 if you need your carburetor. Fuel. All right, folks. Hey, welcome back to Racer Radio, FM 961 AM 1170. The answer, this segment is brought to you by El Cajon Ford, where nobody, absolutely nobody treats you better. El Cajon Ford, big supporter of Barona Speedway and Barona Circle Track. I'm telling you, go to BaronaSpeedway.com, BaronaSpeedway.com for all the latest information. And have I got a special guest for you. They're going to be running at Barona Speedway all of 2019, and that would be Wesley Crabtree. He is the Lawnmower Racing President. Welcome to the show, Wesley. Oh, my gosh. Tell the folks out there that are living under a rock, what is Lawnmower Racing? Dave, thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, I mean, who would have thought mower racing, huh? I mean, something you stick out back of your yard and just throw it out there on the track. Yeah, and how many people will burn up their lawnmower, you know, run it out for a few years, and then just throw it over to the side of the side of the yard, go get a new one, and you got a perfectly good race vehicle sitting right there. Exactly. And, you know, here lately we've had a brand-new class come out. It's a junior class, and – a lot of kids are going up to their dads and hey, I want a lawnmower. And I mean, I tell you what, they're pulling the mower deck off and they're coming out and they're running. I mean, as it is. So, I mean, who would have thought? It's just it's growing like no other. And I mean, our mower racing, we take a perfectly good mower, do a little adjustments to it. It's very easy to get into, and put it out on the track. I mean, this turned into something that was just running in a little bull arenas to in back of a diner. To now, I mean. We're running on big tracks. I mean, we got promoters. We got sponsors. I mean, we're going places with it. I mean, if you would have asked me two years ago, where would we be where we are today? No. Nah. No. Nah. So let's talk a little bit about a lawnmower uh, racing division. Okay, so you got a lawnmower. Most of them have got anywhere between, what, 8 and 17 horsepower, depending on what brand you buy. Uh, and what And what modifications do you do to it to make it competitive? Well, like this season, we are running four classes. We're running a junior class, Mm -hmm. which I will get into details per class. We're running a junior class, a stock class, a modified, and a super mod. And like on the junior class, pretty much all they're doing is they're pulling the the mower deck off of it. They're dropping it down to four inches off the ground. So, and they're putting a kill switch, just like a little tether switch. Uh. If you fall off of it, it kills the motor. And they're coming out and they're running. You talk about smiles. I mean, you put a 10, 11 year old kid out there on a mower and they're running 15 mile an hour, but they think it's the greatest thing ever. And then, like with our stock class, it's the same thing, but they're running ungoverned. So they pull the governor off of it and they put it out there. And it's it's pretty much the same kind of rules, but they're running singles from a eight horse up to a 23 horse. Wow. You mean to tell me and, I got a governor on my lawnmower? Yeah, you got a governor on your mower. I tell you what, we pull that governor off, and we're gonna put you out there on the track. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna go. You left this. I'm going to look for that thing as soon as I get home tonight. I didn't know I had a governor <laughs> on my lawnmower. I thought that thing was pretty yeah, slow sir. for 17 horsepower. Yeah. All right. What's the next class? What's the next Our class? Next class is a modified class. Which a modified class is pretty much the same thing, four inches off the ground. You. Take the motor, you can do adjustments to the motor. You can do modifications. You can put billet cams. You can put lower rockers. You can what? you can turn the power up on them, but they got to be four inches. And you just been you talk about a lot of fun. That's what that's the class I started off in, uh-huh. and I loved every bit of it. Okay, right. now are there any transmissions, or is it just put it in drive and go? Well, with the junior class. And the stock, and, and there is five-speed transmissions, and some of them are running transaxles. Like I said, I mean, a kid, there's junior classes. Uh-huh. They got the transaxle that stays with them, and they're three speeds. 
Wow. But for the most part, we've allowed to put centrifugal clutches on them, which to me is a lot safer because sure. when a person gets in the way, they let off and the motor stops. Yeah, I mean, exactly. At the end of the day, it's all about the fun, but safety is number one. Right. All right. So what's the top class? Our super mod class. <laughs> So if, I come roll, so if I come rolling up there in a 6.2 liter Hemi motor, it's okay. That's all right. Hey, you bring it. We'll, we'll <laughs> run it. We'll throw it out there to the track, and we're going to have fun. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But our Supermod class, our super mod class. I mean, you talk about some of the best of the best drivers we have out there, and you talk about the familyhood and the brotherhood. I mean, it's just we we put it out there on the track and we let it all hang out and we're running a couple of inches off each other 65 mile an hour and i tell you what you feel comfortable with the people you run around because i mean it's at the end of the day we all want to go home sure and it's just and like the opportunity that we have now with brona speedway i mean let's back up a little bit i mean troy salazar with brona speedway welcomed us out last year we ran two races out there and we are now running there full time 2019. Wow. And that's that is our home track. I mean, you talk about a beautiful track. I mean, we're averaging 60 65 mile an hour out there. What? I mean, you talk about yes sir <laughs> on a lawnmower. Who would have thought, huh? <laughs> well, and now so for people out there thinking, "Dad Burden, I think I'll get my lawnmower and go out there." Is there any any technique? Is there anything special about racing a lawnmower versus anything else? As far as maybe set up, how to drive it, you know, is there anything special? No, the only thing special about it, I mean, you can go to letsmo.com there's and look at the different organizations out there and they have build guidelines. But our requirement is two things. Come have fun and be safe. Right. You do have to stay as a lot more chassis and a lot more motor. And other than that, I mean, if people have questions, it's really easy to get into. I mean, you can get into a mower for about 300 bucks. You can find one on Craigslist and come pull the mower deck off of it and come race next week if you wanted wow. to. No kidding. I mean, more, more racing is just, it's all what you put into it. And sure. we've made it fun and we've made the rules and the regulations good on it where it's, it's what you put into it. So right. you don't get a lot of people come up there and say, oh, I can't put that money into it. I mean, it's turned into such a family sport. I mean, if you look at our club, we have father, son. I mean, it's just everybody in our club. It's, it's all about the family. Sure. Well, and the beauty of it is for all the family members out there that are supporting their young daughters and sons, and whether it be the lightning, sprints, dwarf, cars, here's an opportunity where they can go have some fun for less than, you know, a couple hundred bucks if you just find yourself an old mower and like you said, and I recommend if anybody's interested in this, like you said, go to the website or come to the first race, go into the pits, talk to the lawnmower folks. Trust me, if you if they think you're planning on coming into their uh, their group, they will open arms, bring you in, do the tech, show you how to lower it, show you maybe some tricks on how to go quick and you know tire pressure and, and all those types of things. So it's not like you're going to join a group of racers and then be left out in the cold. Because you guys want as many cars out there as you can get, or lawnmowers. That's absolutely, and, that, and that's one thing that all of our people and all of, all of our family, I call it a family because we're just a big family. All sure. of our family prides on is, I mean, you might be racing against the guy next to you, but you know what? If you break, they're going to be right there helping you get back out there. Yeah. And talking about that, I mean, people want information on us. You can go to SoCalMowers.com and look us up on Facebook. My phone number's on there. My phone is on 24-7, and you can call me mm -hmm. day or night. I'll answer it, and I'll answer your question. And, like, at the track, I mean, I got a very good family standing behind me. My vice president, Gary Paps, which is down in Ramona, mm -hmm. I mean, shout out to him and everything, all the help he's helped me with this year. I mean, that gentleman, him and I have been on that track till 11 o'clock at night, last minute. We will help and talk wow. to you. Every individual. I mean, we do not go home. We do not close our trailer up until we're the last ones out of there. Right. You know what? It's just it, it's amazing feeling. It's just it's good stuff. Yeah. It's so, all about the family. So how many tractors would you say per division are going to be racing? We're averaging between 8 to 10. Wow. That's good. That's, that's Yeah, that's it's plenty. like our first race. We're doing a monster truck show. 
in India with WJS oh, okay. at the Date Festival, which is a big theme for us. And we got a few monster truck shows planned this year. And February 23rd, Indio. Uh, first race starts at 3. Second race starts at 5. We're average. I mean, I have 33 mowers that is guaranteed to show up. Wow. So who's a hot shoe? Who's your number one mower driver? Who's the one everybody can't wait to see? No, I mean, I tell you what. Last year, we had a driver that came up. His name is Luke Paps. Uh-huh. And the guy is, I mean, the guy is on his game. I mean, everybody, like in my division, everybody is so close to each other. But, but the guy was on his A game. I mean, he's tough to beat. Him and his dad both and, and, and his brother, Adrian, I mean, when they're out there, they're tough. I mean, when you can hear him coming up. I mean, I'm telling you, you talk about the old intimidator feeling. You can hear him because they were knocking on the door. They're 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 coming on by. That's but we're all awesome. pretty much equal, and it's yeah. that's one thing. Checker flag's fun, but it doesn't matter. Like with us, if you're racing last place, we're all. It, I mean, the feeling is mutual. It's just. A race is a race. Right. Well, and you're absolutely right. I mean, you know, it doesn't make it. I mean, you, you, sure, everybody would like to be in a modified. Sure, everybody would like to be in a 460 sprint. But you know what? There's a lot of money that comes with that. And I'm going to tell you, you know, that ride, racing a lot more and racing, a, uh, you know, maybe a 410, sure, there's power difference. But the thrill, the adrenaline, and the winning, y- you can't beat it. I don't care what you're sitting right. behind. Right. Absolutely. It's just like, hey, where can you go on Craigslist, get your $300 mower, load it up, come out to Brona Speedway, which I tell you what, Brona Speedway, the facility and the staff, oh, you yeah. go there, you get a $3 hamburger and a 50 cent soda. I mean, what can you do? You can take whole family in there, watch the big races, put your mower out there, run in a big show, yeah. get interviewed, get a trophy, watch the 14 sprints. Watch the lightning sprints. Watch all the big yeah, shows. Yeah. I mean, it's a family. It's just where where can you do this? I mean, I absolutely know. right. So when's your first race at Barona? Uh, April sixth. That's our season opener. All right, folks. And if Mark. everybody has a good chance, come out and check us out. We will have a booth set up. All right. We will be there early. All of our mowers will be there, and we have a few mowers, stock mowers that sit inside. Where if somebody comes up and wants to get involved, uh. we donate mowers. Uh, well, hey, folks, don't forget, we're going to have these guys on KUSI TV. So make sure you keep it on your Facebook and Instagram and make sure you hook up with these guys. Hey, man, thank you very much for taking time out of your day. I cannot wait to see you April 6th at Baroda Speedway. Dave, I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you, sir. All right, we'll talk at you later.